Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Venetia Alexander Marshall. Welcome. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you're clicking the bell so when I am uploading on YouTube, you are notified. I'm gonna bring you a makeup look today. All drugstore or drugstore adjacent. Everything in this video, it's $20 and below. So we're gonna do a makeup look very affordable makeup look. You don't have to go to Sephora, or go to the high end side of Ulta to get makeup. You can have a great makeup look, a very affordable makeup look. Still look like a million dollars, but you didn't break the bank for it. So absolutely everything I have, it is $20 and below. So I will put everything that I have that I'm using today in the bottom of the description box along with the prices. So everything is $20 and below. I do plan on doing two more videos similar with this $15 and below and $10 and below. And I'm also going to be bringing you another makeup look using all, all items that come from Dollar General or Dollar Tree. So we have another video like that coming up. Again, looking good on a budget. So let's go ahead and get started with primer. I knew it was something I forgot. I'm always forgetting something. Be right back. Now how can I do a makeup look? I ain't got no mirror. <laughs> it's okay. Now I have my handy dandy mirror with me where I left off. <laughs> and let's get started. So for primer, this is one of my favorite primers. And it's a very affordable primer. This is from e.l.f. It is their Poreless Putty Primer. This primer, I believe it is $8. This is definitely a favorite. You're getting ready to see in a minute how often I use this primer. Yeah, I have a nice hole. <laughs> I have a very nice size hole in this primer. So we're gonna start with the e.l.f. Putty Primer today. I do tend to be a little heavy handed with this primer. I don't mean to, but it's a very good primer. Definitely for your pores, so your pores does not show through your foundation. This is a very, very good primer. This primer is the dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, which is $53. This is eight bucks. And it's really, really, really good. I know, which was long before we went in quarantine series and pandemic series, when we would travel, I would bring that putty primer with me everywhere and then we travel. So this is a very, very, very good primer. It is still a favorite of mine. Won't be long, I have to get me another one because I absolutely love that primer. Again, affordability. You don't have to spend all that kind of money to look great. There we go. So we have that incorporated into the skin. It does mattify and it does make sure that all your pores are filled in. So this is a very, very good primer. For foundation today, again, affordability. So we're actually gonna hit the $20 range with this foundation. This is from Juvia's Place. This is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. I am not attempting to pronounce the name on this because I will butcher it. Here it is, right y'all. I'm not finna attempt to, no, not finna do it. This foundation is $20. If you go on Juvia's Place's website, which I will put Juvia's Place's website in the bottom of the description box, y'all need to be checking Juvia's Place. Sometimes they'll have sales on their foundations, their eyeshadow palettes, they're always having sales. I know with this foundation, even though it is $20, I think I got this on sale for like, either $11, $12 or something like that. They had a, a Black History Month sale and I got it during the sale. So I wanna say I may have paid maybe $12 for it, regular price 20, which is still not bad. So all I do with this foundation, I dot it on because this is a very, very full coverage foundation. I dot this on because with this foundation, a little bit goes a very, long way all you need is a little bit <laughs> all you need is a little bit because this little bit goes a very long way so i will use the juvia's place um foundation brush i'm going to use my brush and i'm just going to look just with that much yeah 
I just need a little bit because this foundation is extremely full coverage. And if you've been following me for a while, you know I am not into that super, super, super full coverage look. I have gone overboard with this foundation and learn. See how it's covering up my forehead? <laughs> Five head. <laughs> it does the job. I may have put too much on that side. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. But if you add a little bit more and you're like me, not into super full coverage, be very careful where you place this. Because this is a foundation that is extremely full coverage. Yeah, I think I'm going to add a little bit more to this foundation. Yeah. Or do I? Do I need to add some more? What y'all think? I, do y'all think I need to add some more? Let's see. You know what? I'm going a, I'm to a keep it like this because, again, I'm not into super full coverage. So if you have full coverage foundations and you always end to go overboard, the best way to remedy that, dot it on. Because with this I Am Magic foundation, you just need this a little bit because if you can't easily with this foundation, you can go overboard with the foundation very, very, very fast. For concealer, again, we're going to stick with Juvia's Place. This is number 13. Is that the one I have? Yeah, number 13. Yeah, because I ain't got time for no names. I ain't got time for all that. Um, this concealer is also very, very full coverage. I believe the concealer is $15, but again, they had a sale when I got the concealer. So I want to say I may have paid maybe $8 for it. So I always check their website. They are always having a sale. So with this full coverage concealer, I am just dotting it on. Very little and I dot. I'm not dipping back into the concealer. I am not doing any of that because that is how full coverage the concealer is. So I am going to take my sponge and I'm going to... Blend the concealer. Another concealer that is full coverage yet very affordable. It is the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. That concealer is like in seven or eight dollars. I think on I say I think I paid seven forty nine for that concealer at Target. That is also very full coverage. I have used it on my channel before. You will have to dot that on because if you don't dot that concealer on, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm not by myself. <laughs> my son's up here. <laughs> and we're practicing social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> all right so here is the concealer i'm also forming my contour which i'm not going to be contouring today so if you're new to my channel i'm not really into contouring so yeah i think my last video i did contour all right so there we go i'm gonna get the other eye and I put take some of that concealer and put it over my eye for my eyeshadow. There we go. And we're going to blend all that in. There we go. There we go. Well, we got everything incorporated into our nose. So we got the concealer incorporated in. All right. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I do set my face twice. So for the first setting powder, again, drugstore, very affordable. It's been a while since I've had it. I want to say this was like in the 
want to say this was in the ten dollar range not certain but the setting powder i'm going to use is from milani it is the milani um translucent banana setting powder so i'm going to go with milani today so i'm just going to dip my uh, sponge in it i had to take a little excess off of that I do bake, but no more than 60 seconds. Take that off, that's too much. But I can't bake for a minute, two, I can't do two and three and four minutes on baking because I will look ghostly. I can't do it, y'all, I can't. All right, so we got that on my skin. But I wanna say this was like in the $10 range. I want to say it was ten dollars. I want to say this was ten dollars. I think I got, believe I got this from Walmart. All right, so I am going to take my brush and I'm going to sweep this off. Again, I don't leave my bake on for very, very long at all. But again, I don't want to look cakey, and I don't want to look ghostly. And again, forming my contour. I am going to bronze, but I usually bronze all over. All right. All right, so for the second setting powder, we're going to go back to Juvia's. It's not Juvia's place. No, it's not Juvia's place. Nope, sorry. I misspoke. So the second setting powder, we're going to go with the CoverGirl clean professional setting powder in translucent honey i want to say this was like six dollars it was six or seven dollars i got it from walmart this is like a nice medium deep um loose setting powder so for the second setting powder i'm just going to place it in these areas i buff it in So we can stay matte all day. Even though I have dry skin, I don't like things that are super, super drying on my face because if it's too dry, it's going to eat my skin alive. And I already have dry skin. It's going to eat my skin alive. I don't want that to do it. It's going to eat my skin alive. Okay. All right, so that's that. So next we're going to use a bronzer. So for bronzing, one a bronzer that has now become one of my favorites. This is from Milani. This is their bronzer, their soft silk bronzer. Here it is. So we're going to go with that today. I want to say this may be in a $13 range, $14 range. But it's so soft. And with this bronzer, you just need a little bit of this bronzer. Because you can go ham with this bronzer. Because I know I've gone ham on it. And it's also like a sl the slightest fragrance, but it goes away pretty fast. So I'm kind of bringing some color back into my skin. This and that Milani press powder that I also use for bronzer. Oh my goodness, that is also really really good again affordable under twenty dollars here we go there we go there we go so we got that color back in all right, so next we're going to use some blush. So let's get some blush in our skin here. So I'm going to toot my own horn with this. And so for blush, we're going to go with me, my cosmetics line, Vam Cosmetics. Here it is. This is our red blush palette. So our blush palettes are available. Here it is. Our blush palette is available for $10. So I am going to go, I'm just going to use the slightest. I'm going to use this tan shade today for blush. Oh, will I use a tan? No, you know what? I'm going to use the burgundy. But I'm going to use just the slightest. 
our again this is available for ten dollars on our website I always put our my website in the bottom of the description box you just need a little bit because you can go ham with our blush palette again it is four blushes and a mirror Go get a little color. Go. How about that? <laughs> Next is highlighter. Highlighter, I think I paid eight bucks for this highlighter. Yeah, I want to say it was about eight dollars for this highlighter. Um, so the highlighter I'm using, this is from Makeup Revolution. This is their Vivid Bake highlighter. Here it is. So I'm gonna go with their highlighter today. I believe, I know, I did get this highlighter from Ulta and um, it was $8. There we go. So we're gonna go with Makeup Revolution today, which I will be doing an updated Makeup Revolution makeup review. So look out for that review. here a little right here let's put a little bit on the nose there we go there we go just got a little bit on the nose all right so next is eyeshadow so eyeshadow it's a shocker again this is an eyeshadow palette nobody is talking about this eyeshadow palette and this eyeshadow palette is super super pigmented it's super super affordable <laughs> So for eyeshadow, we're going to go with the Collab Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette. Here it is. This eyeshadow palette, you can get this either on the website or you can get it at Sally's. That's where I picked this up at, is at Sally's. Um, I want to say this eyeshadow palette was maybe $9 or $10. Um, but this is a very good eyeshadow palette that nobody is talking about. So I'm going to go and get this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to open it up and... Here are the shadows. You kind of tell I have been using it. Um, I'm just going to do a very simple eye um, today. So for the shade that's going in my crease, I think I'm going to go with this shade. So let's do that shade today. And look. Look how much you pick up. Look how much you pick up. Oh my goodness. I remember when I first put this eyeshadow on for the first time, I was shook. I was super shook. All right, so we're gonna do that first. And like I said, I'm just gonna do a light wash of color today. But with this little eyeshadow palette, you can go a little ham and I can see right off the bat, I think I did go just a shade ham. So if you're new to my channel, I am not into cut creases and 50,000 shadows. There's the FedEx man. <laughs> I was wondering, what is that noise? I forgot. There's the FedEx man. So let me go ahead and tell my daughter her package is here. She has been waiting on this package. I'm actually gonna text her right quick and let her know her package is here. <laughs> and this is gonna work out for her perfectly. So I just text her, I said, your package is outside. <laughs> She's probably going to start coming and run up here. So I ordered her some alcohol. <laughs> but not no drinking alcohol. It was rubbing alcohol. All right. Yep, I knew it. Here she come running. <laughs> so I'm going to use the shimmer on my lid. He just delivered it. 
I didn't think it was gonna get there that fast. I'm almost done so we can go. So you can actually have it for just in time for you. That's you. It's not it? Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be that fast either, but man. Man, look at the color on this eyeshadow. It's a lot of color. So now I'm going to go back with this brush that I used, this initial brush, and I'm going to blend the two. What's that? Oh, it's not this one. Oh. Okay, well then that's not it then. What is that? Oh, well, put it back in the box. Wrong package. Okay. Maybe you should have read the name. I should have. So we're done with the eyeshadow. Whoops. So we're gonna set our face. We're gonna set our face with the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray. This is like $4.99. You can get at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Target. This is $4.99. So you cannot beat this. $4.99. Alright. For mascara, we're gonna go with the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I'm gonna say this may be nine or ten dollars. I'm not sure. I'm almost out of it, so I'm gonna use the last of it. As you can see, I'm almost out. And I use the living snot out of this mascara. So if you're new to my channel, I don't do false lashes. I just, me and false lashes, no, I, I don't understand the concept of false lashes and I will never get the concept of false lashes. I will never know. Mm, last but not least, lip. So for lips, we're gonna go with Milani. We're gonna go with their lipstick today. This is number 38, Double Espresso. And I wanna say their lipsticks may be in a seven, eight dollar range. I wanna say maybe in that range is how much I paid for this lipstick. This is a nice deep brown lipstick. Oh yeah. Yep. There we go. And that is it with this $20 and below makeup look. So stay tuned. I am going to be bringing you more makeup looks for you guys. I will be bringing you a $15 and below, a $10 and below, and also a Dollar General Dollar Tree makeup look. So this is it. Final makeup look and hopefully 40 plus club approved. See, you didn't have to spend a whole bunch of money. Go to Sephora and spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars when all you need to do is go to Walmart, Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS, or the drugstore side of Ulta. You don't have to spend a whole bunch of money. <laughs> so with that being said, this is Felicia Alexander Marshall. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.